thank you so much for joining us for this badge break. Um, I know a lot of you um, out there have been tuning in and I always like to start with thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I know that you could be doing a lot of different things right now, but you're here with me and Elisa, <laughs> my lovely assistant, my cadet Girl Scout. And we're, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, she's an ambassador Girl Scout in her last year. And um, she has been doing this with me and I just appreciate it so much. Um, but I wanna say thank you to all of you. You've been tuning in. Can you believe that we've been doing this since March? And we're still here because Girl Scouts care about you. And we care that we can stay connected with all of you. And this is one of those ways. So if you're new to Badge Break, the reason that we started Badge Break was during this time that we couldn't be in person together, we found a new way. We were innovative. I'm sorry. And um, we were being innovative and saying, what can we do? What can we do to keep our Girl Scouts engaged? So, <laughs> so um, one of the things that we thought of was maybe doing Facebook Live. And we still wanted you to be able to earn your badge. And the way that we were able to do that is um, we have a whole team. This doesn't happen just me and Elisa. There's a whole team at Girl Scouts of the Jersey Shore that is working to make sure that this Facebook Live comes to you and you're able to engage and finish your badge work at home. And the way you can do that, I put it up here, but there's our website. It's www gsfund.org and um, for the badge break information for your complete listing of what you um, um, to complete your badge, you go to www.gsfund.org slash badge break. And that's right here as well. So I hope um, you can go there after the badge break and complete your badge. So um, I want to see who's here with us today. And I have to just refresh my page over here. Please, please put into the comments, you know I love to keep us engaged. Um, lower just a little bit. And I wanna know who is here with all of us. I see hola. Oh, see, sí. muchas gracias por venir también. Um, tengo que hablar un poco de español también para todas esas personas que están con nosotros, um, que están escuchando. Um, so yes, I want to make sure that I do speak in Spanish too for our Spanish friends. Um, and so I'm going to do from my computer and from my cell phone. I'm telling you, I'm learning a lot. I am learning a lot. So I see Sydney um, from Troop 60654. I see Allison and Michaela, Mwah! I love you. I love you for being with us. All of you that are coming back and being a part of the badge break. And I love when you comment. I know that I'm not alone out here. We're standing together side by side, Girl Scouts, through everything that's happening in the world. We're here for you and you're here for us. So thank you so much. And to all those parents that care and are trying to keep their girls active and in a positive spirit, and making sure that we smile every day. Um, that is so important. Um, so I see Alana from Troop 80501, and I'm, I'm seeing the hearts and the lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know I love that stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, Milagro, hola, Milagro. Mwah. Let's see. And I see Ty from Estelle from Troop 33. And... Let's see. Hi, Miss Sister. Hello, hello. Water is life. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> We're going to be talking about um, water and what you should be drinking, um, especially in these coming months as it's nice, it starts to get warmer outside. Um, I'm not sure where you're, where you're watching from. Um, definitely put that in here if you're watching from a different state. But we're going to be talking about water, and we're going to be talking about food, and we're going to be talking about staying healthy and making sure that our bodies, we're taking care of our bodies. So, um, hi, Lisa. 
Uh, let's see, Elizabeth. Hello. <laughs> You're back. Yay. Keep smiling. That's right. That's right. We love you too. We love you too. Hi, Lisa Collins. Uh oh, she says coffee has water. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so we are going to uh, go ahead and, oh, from, I'm sorry. Um, Nicole says from Yonkers, New York. I love it. New York is in the house. And, and you're always being here supporting us. And, and we've had some girls from all the different states um, participating in our badge um, programs on Zoom as well. Um, so we have a lot of activities coming up. So I want to go ahead and get started. So um, again, we were talking today um, for earning, give me one second, we're earning a couple of different things for our daisies the Respect Myself and Others pedal, because it's all about taking care of me Tuesday. Um, for our brownies, we have the My Best Self badge. And for our juniors, we have our Staying Fit badge. And so in all of these, we always try and think of what can we do to keep all of the different badges um, that still relate to one another? And what could we do that will help you ladies earn your badge or your pedal? And um, we were thinking of water. Water is such, so necessary. Now, how many times do I say to you, you got to drink water? <laughs> I do. I tell her all the time, what do I say about water? Water is? <laughs> I knew she was going to remember. I knew she would remember that because I say it all the time. Water is medicine. And I, I can't even... I can't even tell you how true that really is. I wish you, 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 if you learned anything today, it's that water is medicine. When we drink um, water, um, our bodies, it is a natural way of it cleaning our bodies, um, giving our bodies enough of what it needs um, to keep it hydrated. And hydrating our bodies gives us energy. So that water is energy in so that we can have energy out. Um, I know one time um, that it was a nice sunny day and we were at the fair, at the, at the um, county fair, Monmouth County Fair. And I was drinking, I wasn't drinking enough water and I had been walking and walking all day and I got really, really dizzy and I ended up having to go to the hospital and I'll never forget that. And all it was, was that I needed more water. So the medicine that they gave me when I went to the hospital was water. So they made sure to get it pumping into my body as quickly as they could. And all of a sudden I felt so much better. So I don't know if that's ever happened to any of you. If it has, give me a thumbs up. Or have you ever felt like all of a sudden you drink that water and you're like, wow, I feel like a new person. Um, <laughs> or when you're exercising or playing outside and, and then, you know, you just like, you see, like somebody has like a cold bottle of water and you're like, oh, I need it. I need it because it's so good for your body. Right. Lisa? Yes. Right. Right. So we need to get Elisa drinking a lot more water. So uh, she has her hydro flask. I don't know if any of you have one of those out there. Um, and let me see if we have any comments here. Oh, we got a hands up. Okay, I see. Chris and Melissa Luciana. Hello, hello. Yes, thank you for engaging and participating in the comments. So um, I want you, I'm challenging you, and I want you to put it in the comments. How many cups of water do you think, um, we're going to start with an adult should drink, an adult woman. We're going to go with woman first. How many cups of water do you think you are supposed to drink? And this is every day, not just in the summer yet. We're going to get to the summer. But how many do you think you're supposed to drink? And I want you ladies to go ahead and put it into the comments. And we're going to see what your guesses are. It's okay if you're wrong. It's just a guess. So we're going to see what they say. Are you ready, Lisa? What are you thinking? What's your guess? Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Gotta be honest and fair. She can see the answer. Let's see. Oh, Terry says, Terry says four cups. No. 
Um, let's see, eight cups, eight cups, ten cups, eight. Okay, and this is this is for an adult woman right now. Ten to twelve, sixteen. Four sixty-four. Four sixty-four. <laughs> it's a good guess. Sixteen, eight, eight cups, sixteen cups of water. Okay, sixty-four ounces. Oh, okay. <laughs> We have a lot of answers here. We have a lot of answers. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to tell you the answer for our adult women, okay? So for adult women, um, you're supposed to be drinking. You ready? Go ahead, Elisa. 11.5 cups of water. Wow! So it's, it, it's gone up from eight. So we're really supposed to be drinking 11 and a half cups of water. Wow. Okay. Now let's see if you want to take a guess as to how many cups of water a man. We'll, we'll go with a with a, a Girl Scout. And now it has it different if you're between the ages of four to eight. So that's Daisy uh, Brownie. How many cups, if you're a daisy or a brownie, are you, and you have a little body, right? <laughs> well, smaller than Miss Susu, how many cups do you think you're supposed to have if you're a daisy or a brownie? Thank you for all the likes and the loves. Oh, Lily, I love you. Let's see. Um, let's see. Eight, eight. Wow. Okay. Let's eight. see if you're right. And it's a, it's a smaller number than the women because they have a smaller body. Let's see if you're right. And, and we just went through a couple of different websites to try and get the answer. So we got eight, we got six. Okay, okay, these are good guesses. I'm thanking you for, for participating. Let's see, nine, nine, nine. I like that you're guessing. Good job. Eight or six. Eight or six, good. Eight, eight, All right. Five. Are we ready? ready? Are we ready? Are you ready? Thank okay. You Here is the answer. We need for a daisy or a brownie. So ages four and eight. Four through eight. Ages four through eight. Um, we need to be drinking at least five cups of water. At least five cups of water. And let's see if you're um, between the ages of nine to 13, it's it's more than the daisies and brownies because you're a little bit bigger. Tell me what you think it is for, for girls between nine through 13. Actually, it's girls or boys. Let's see the, let's see the different um, guests for this one. So we're talking girls between the ages of nine to 13. I can't wait to see, let's see. Let's see how right. And I don't know if you were right on some of the others already. Let's see. We have seven, 13, nine, seven, eight, I, I, I'm cracking nine, up at Lily over there. Nine, <laughs> seven, eight, Lily, I love you. Nine. Let's see. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, these are great. Nine, nine. Eight, yep. So where do I fall? Barbara says. <laughs> Thanks for making me laugh, Barb. Eight or nine. <laughs> Where do I fall? Okay. All right. So, you ready for the answer? Are you ready for the answer? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. All right. So, for girls or boys between the ages of nine to 13, are you ready, Lisa? It is, oh, drum roll. It is seven to eight cups. <laughs> <laughs> Seven to eight cups of water is what you need to be drinking. Okay, so um, for men, now they um, are usually, uh, this is men, um, I guess 18 and up. And let's see, there are a lot more. They, they need a lot more um, water in their bodies. So let's see how many cups of water um, would it be for men? So let's see, your dads out there, maybe your husbands, how many do you think it should be for them? Let's see your guesses. All right. 
We're listening to music. I don't 15. know if you can hear it. 15. Okay, that's one guess. 15. 13. Ooh, a lot. You guys are good. 15. I mean, you girls are good. <laughs> My girl scouts. 9, rock. 10, 13, 13 15, 9, 10, 15, yeah. 15. 15 13, These are great guesses. 13, that's right. 13, it's more than the women. You got it. 14, 14, wow. I love that you're participating. I love when I see the screen just going and going and going. I love it. Okay. So, are you ready for the answer? 10, 11, 14, okay. 10. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Drum roll, please. It is 15 and a half cups of water. So, if you said 15, you were right. So it is 15 and a half cups of water. That's a lot. That is a lot. So how many cups are in a gallon of water? Am I supposed to answer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So no, we'll, uh, we'll ask you. How many cups of water are in one gallon? And this is a picture of gallon of water. So you can you can relate. Let's see if you if you know the answer to that. So, oh, oh, you were close yeah, on the guesses? Close. You were close. You were close. And some of you got it. It was 15. Let's see. Okay. That's a lot of water in one day. That, she says, OMG, a lot of water. So we're supposed to be drinking 15, 11 and a half. And 15. men are supposed to be drinking 15 and a half. And girls are supposed to be drinking either from five cups all the way up to eight cups. So let's see. Oh, they were they guessed right. 16, how many? 16, how many is in here? 10, You're guessing right. I see a lot of right guesses. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, you. I couldn't stump you on that one. You are a hundred percent correct. So my Girl Scouts are very smart. It is sixteen cups. So think about that. So if this is sixteen cups, and I have to drink. Like this much? Almost the whole thing. Yeah, almost the whole thing. Almost the whole thing of, a, of this. And for us women, it's more than half of this pitcher. And for girls, it's going to be eight cups. So that would be exactly half of a pitcher, a pitcher of water. And in the summer. So what happens in the summer? Why would we even need to drink more water in the summer? I want to ask you because we're engaging, we're keeping it moving, and this is part of your badge. So, and if you're a Daisy, Brownie, or Junior, I want you to answer how much water um, do you think more water do you need in the summer or why? Not how much. Why would you need more water in the summer? Let's see. Let's see our answers here. I'm giving you ladies a chance to answer. Dehydration. Dehydration. Hot house. I'm seeing the answers. I'm seeing them. You see them, Lisa? Oh, yeah. Are those some good answers? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm being a mother right now. <laughs> I love her. I love her. So, yes. <laughs> she always says she's my favorite. <laughs> I love all my kids the same. You ladies know what I'm talking about. All right. So let's see. All right. Yes. Because it's dehydration. Because it's hot out. You can pass out. That's right, Cassie. Hot. And we sweat. Thank you. Exactly. Hydration. Don't pass out. Thank you. So we need so much water all year round. But in the summer, we have to drink at least at least one more cup than what we did, what we were just talking about, like that 11 and a half for women and that five for four to eight year olds and, the, and seven to eight for nine to 13. We need at least one more cup of water. So basically what you really want to do in the summertime, the sun is out. And even if the sun's not out, the temperature outside is warmer and we do sweat. So now energy is coming out right that water is energy in and that sweat is like energy out 
and we desperately need to hydrate. So you need to be drinking water all day. And water is what I what do I always say? Water is medicine. <laughs> water is your medicine. So I challenge all of you to drink enough water in the summer as well. So we do. We lose a lot of, of, of sweat and fluids when it's hot outside. Alyssa says she can't drink that much. <laughs> You can drink that much. Girl Scouts can do anything. Pace yourself. Get one of these and pace yourself. Oh, Cassie says, I am hot now. <laughs> Agua. Si. Se me olvida hablar en español también. I always forget to speak in Spanish too. Uh, so necesitamos tomar si ahora, todo el año, tenemos que beber por lo menos um, once vasos y medio. Um, para las mujeres y para los hombres son 15 vasos y medio y para la edad de 4 a 8 necesitamos beber por lo menos 5 vasos de agua y si es de la edad de 9 a 13 tienes que beber por lo menos 7 a 8 vasos de agua al día. Ahora en el verano tenemos que subirlo porque estamos sudando mucho y hace mucho calor. Y tenemos que beber por lo menos un vaso más de, lo, de los números que había dicho. Um, por lo menos uno más. Pero es importante que todo el día esté bebiendo agua, todo el día, um, cuando empezamos, especialmente cuando estamos afuera. So, all right. So, now, I also wanted you to um, see about different snacks. And we have, for our juniors out there, earning their stay in Fit Badge, we got to talk a little bit about what are some of the things that are on our um, nutrition facts on different um, foods, different snacks that you might have at home, and what words are we looking for? Um, because we want to make sure that we're eating the best foods. Oh, can you get me that other one over there? So, um, so we have different... Um, I know I asked if you can to bring um, maybe a snack um, so that you can look at the box. And if you don't have a, a snack box, you can do this later as well. But if you do, I want you to take a look at, at where it says nutrition facts, nutrition facts. So, <clears throat> so we have sh um, the chef's label guide. <laughs> and one of the things that is on a lot of the different boxes is the word called calories. And let's see, it says calories. This tells you how much energy you will get from this food. It, if you don't use that energy, it gets stored as fat. Mm -mm. So we're gonna be food detectives and we want, we definitely want our, um, the kind of the best, I know when we're younger, we're daisies, brownies, and juniors, we can have a little bit more um, calories. When we get older, we need to watch it even more closely. Um, but um, a good range is 100. 100 is for pretty good on the calories. And we're going to take a look at some of the snack boxes we have here. So this is oatmeal cream pies. And let's see, what do you think? How many calories do you think are in an oatmeal cream pie? And you got to look at servings too. So you're being a food detective, right? So I want you to take a look at the food serving. So it's saying how many in that box you're supposed to eat. Let's, <laughs> Girl Scout cookies do have some calories. 170 calories. <laughs> <laughs> so there is the serving size is one of these oatmeal cream pies. So this little thing here, this little thing here holds 170 calories. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, um, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you about baby carrots. So how many, um, do you think, how many calories do you think are in something nutritious like baby carrots? I want you to put in the comments. How many do you think And I'm looking at your comments here. 
Let's hope Starbucks have water. <laughs> Yes, our Girl Scout cookies are so good. We're going to talk a little bit about those too. Okay, um, so. Yes, the lowest in sugar are the trust foils. I don't, I don't have all the cookies with me. I only have my, my favorite because I've been eating them. Um, so I have my Samoas with me. So how many do you think, ooh, these are the guesses for the baby carrots. If she says 15, maybe 20 to 30, maybe, thank you, uh, maybe 15, 10, 40. I love these guesses. So In I the baby know. carrots. And it says the serving size is about three ounces, not three baby carrots. Um, the, the bag is about, um, there's 11 servings in the bag. So. I want you to guess, and you said you gave me some good guesses. So it is 35 calories in a bag of baby carrots in one serving. So we got these that are 170 for just this. And for a bag of baby carrots, well, for a few of those from the baby carrots, it's only 35. So it looks like you could probably eat the entire bag of baby carrots and have less calories than one of these. All right, so, um, yeah, so we have um, our Samoas. So there are 150 calories um, for a couple of cookies. So we still might wanna go with the baby carrots and eat these as well um, in moderation. <laughs> What's really bad is that it it's not how it works. I know. I, I opened these up and um, I, I just love them so much. So I love our cookies. And um, we also have our uh, trefoils. So five cookies um, for 160 calories of our trefoils. Um, and we also need to be looking at, um, there's other things to be looking at on there as well. Um, and sorry, I want to also say, um, how about those apple slices, another nutritional one. Um, so in the apple slices that, you know, how they have the little package of apple slices, um, um, those are actually, if you want to take a guess, how many do you think in the apple slices? Let's see. If you want to take a guess, how many calories in one of the little bags of apple slices? I try to find some nutritional, um, snacks for you. We didn't have too many in the house at the moment because we ate them all. No. <laughs> we need to do better. I'm going to do better. Girl Scouts is going to do better. So, oh, yummy. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to tell you how many calories in a bag of, oh, so we do have a guest. Terry says 50. Let up. Let's see. 45, 100. Okay, these are good guesses. Four, cal Four calories, 150. Four I'm going 50. to guess that Dunkaroos are out of the question. <laughs> Dunkaroos might be on the other side. They might be on the, not a good food detective would have those. All right, oh, 40, she says 40. Rebecca says, Anaya says 40. All right, so in a bag of apple slices. Now I thought because they were apples, that they would be um, a lot less. The carrots were 35, but the apple slices are actually 120. Um, so they're a little bit higher. So they're not far off from our from two uh, two cookies here. Um, and that's so, a container of eight. Yes, yes. So, um, so we really want to make sure that we're being um, healthy eaters and being good food detectives because we want energy that goes in. And again, remember we were talking about that the calories are, um, this tells how much energy you will get from the food. So it's still good for you to have some calories uh, every day. And that is whatever energy you don't use. So we want to make sure that we're burning it off. 
So we're eating these things and we're still going outside and exercising and staying fit. And that's what's more important. So that way you can eat and eat the things that you want, but you're really working hard, drinking a lot of water and eating as good or as many healthy foods as you can. So thank you so much. And I'm going to, oh, she says she's laughing with Will at <laughs> the Dunkaroos. Okay, so um, I want to, um, again, don't forget that you need to go to um, www.gsfund.org slash badge break to complete all of the steps for your badge. Um, and also, I want to point out, um, because a lot of you have been coming to our um, Zoom meetings where we, where I could see you, you could see me, and we had so much fun on our Disney day. Um, we had over 70 um, girls participate. Um, we also have had our, um, our mad scientists. Um, and I mean, we've just been having fun and earning um, different patches and badges. Um, so please, please, please visit our activity calendar because we have a lot of fun things and badge earning coming up. We have something for Daisy's Brownies and Juniors. Also, don't forget, we have our badge in a box that has all of the materials that you need. Um, and it could be mailed to you or you can pick it up in person um, and earn your badge for, um, for Daisy's Brownies, Juniors, Cadets. There is um, a tree badge for Cadets as well. Um, so please check out our activity calendar. Um, the badge boxes are on there as well. We have journeys coming up. Um, I know that some people have been asking for journeys um, from home, um, but virtually so that we can actually interact and engage. And so we have those coming up um, for all levels. Um, we also have cookies. We have Girl Scout cookies. We have Girl Scout cookies. So we still have Girl Scout cookies. And if you would like some for yourself or to donate, please check out our website. All of the information that I'm talking about is on our www.gs fund, Girl Scout fund, right? Gsfund.org. Um, and let me see, did I forget anything? Oh, so being a part of today, you are also earning for participating in a um, Facebook Live and our social challenges on our computer, on our Facebook page and Instagram. You are also earning um, the Girl Power Can't Be Quarantine patch. Um, from what I hear, we've already sent out like at least 200 patches to all of you out there. So you're doing an awesome job and staying active. And again, we're with you through all these tough times that we're going through. Um, we're so proud to be here um, to to just be a part of Girl Scouts in this movement um, of, of keeping girls engaged and, and hopefully putting a little smile on your face um, during these tough times. So again, thank you so much for coming. And um, I'm reading some of your messages. Um, <laughs> Luciana says, I would rather have the Samoas than the apples. <laughs> I'm with you on those. You rock, sis, you and Elisa. Thank you, thank you. I love these programs as it always lifts my spirit. Oh, I hope that's so that's so true. That's what we want to do is be with you and put a little smile on your face, even for a little while. So again, thank you so much for my Girl Scout family for being here. Um, Lily says, I love today's video. I love you, um, Lily. Thank you. Another awesome badge break. Thank you. Woo -hoo -hoo. High five, high five. And so many great programs coming up. Yes, yes, yes. Crazy, awesome. Yes. So please join us. Please check it out. I would love to see you. And um, one way that I've been able to see some of the um, people and the girls that have been commenting on, on our Facebook Lives are through these programs. And it just brings me so much joy um, to put a, a face with the, with the smile, with the comments. Um, so thank you again. And um, be safe, everyone, and take care.